Well, this is where they, they've pet. all come to lay their eggs, this, I yeah, think, this is actually, Now, now they're in bed because yeah. it's too cold for them. They wouldn't be out yeah. now, so we can approach fairly close. Yeah, we wouldn't but, have come here earlier. So that's, we can move in because uh, literally all of the snakes would have either disappeared oh. in there... Okay. And this is the live camera. There's the live camera. There it is. Over here, oh, there's a watch. Okay, live camera. But earlier in the day, was it early in the day? Have a look at what this looked like earlier as well. Have a look. Now you can see the snakes. This is a time lapse. Not one, Chris. Not two. Loads of snakes. It. It's not masses against look the grasses here. I think what we've got here is a huge number of female grass snakes okay. that have come to this compost heap to lay their eggs because as it ferments there, it generates heat and it's that that they use to incubate their eggs. They get in amongst there, lay somewhere between 10 and 40 in a big sticky mass. At the moment, there could be hundreds in there. Eggs. Let's dig in, Chris. No, 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 we no, 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 no. Not yet. No, we've that got would a, be wrong. In Sorry. August or September, all of the young snakes will come out about pencil sized absolutely exquisite but let's take a look at this because here's a closer view of these snakes now the females are generally a bit more robust their heads are a little bit wider there might be some males in here too they might have come along being inquisitive but they do return to these breeding sites these egg like not so not breeding sites they they actually mated long ago in April but these egg laying sites oh, traditionally beautiful. and they're very important these days because so many compost heaps have been lost and, and they won't come to a compost heap if it's in a in a bucket, of course. They need to be open like this one. And they travel enormous distances, grass snakes, don't the they, most, relatively? Most mobile of all of our snakes. They might have come, you know, half a kilometre at least to get to this site. Okay. Now, the snakes, we've noticed something very curious about them. If you look very, very closely at them, look at this, Chris. Can you see there are tiny little animals, mites, rushing around all... They're infested. And I'm no expert, Chris, but they look very like... Ophionysis, uh, Natrixus. Natrixus. I think me. they're the Natrixus. Yeah. Are they the Natrixus? I, I they mean, are. the young ones, obviously, because they're white and uh, adults would be brown, but uh, that's my guess. Normally, you don't see this many on them. I think that the, mates, uh, the mites are taking advantage of the fact that there's a large number of snakes here. So it's yes. the best place to get from snake to snake. Perhaps there's been a hatch of these mites in the compost heap, but typically you don't find that, that many on them.